The Women Caucus, what it entails, it normally helps the uh, women MCAs to become uh, more focused in leadership and also prepare them in case they are nominated, prepare them to be elected. They also, women uh, MCAs become very vibrant in the assemblies. They are able to make, introduce bills and debate on them. And at the same time, uh, advocate on what is happening on the ground to the assembly and also to the executive side so that our people can be assisted. The Women Caucus, as you hear the name, it normally also helps in uh, especially women and the marginalized people and disabled people around our villages who cannot be reached by anybody. But it's us who get to know what's happening on the ground and their voices will be heard by us when you go back to the assembly and talk about them. In that, in that sense, we are able to give better service and also push our county forward. I would also want to say there are so many things that have been happening in the COVID area and Women Caucus has also taken a very big step on that because in the GBV part, there's been a lot of child abuse, women abuse and uh, rapes, as you know, because uh, it so happens that uh, COVID has affected people in different ways. And when we formed the Women Caucus, we've seen the way we have been trying to go to places and our objectives were to cancel and also to create awareness that there's still life after COVID. Though at the end of the day, there are people who are, women have been battered by their husbands. But we also try to, be, to get to know why this is happening, because we tend to blame the men. But we have also tried to put the men on board so that we get to know what is the real problem and uh, try and tackle that problem so that these things don't happen anymore. And I see we can moving forward. And also at the same time, what I can say is that uh, the girl child, there's a lot of pregnancies that have happened during COVID-19. Because the schools closed early, and we are having young mothers who are maybe even doing study eight. We have been trying also to go to schools to counsel those girls. We have also been trying to go to prisons because COVID is rampant there because also of the conditions that uh, these people are staying in. And due to that, uh, we have been able to assist these prisoners in, in sanitizers and small, small things, whereby I think to us it was a big achievement. And we are still planning a lot of things because right now we have a big work plan to move around the entire country, advocating on what we can do for the young mothers, the youths, and also the disabled, and also the marginalized people. I believe we shall achieve it through our unity because we walk the same, we walk the same walk, we talk the same language, and I believe we shall achieve. We are here to uh, have an orientation meeting with the women members of county assembly on the orientation on the e-learning platform, uh, which is meant to give an opportunity for women leaders all over the world uh, to access 
knowledge and information around issues that around uh, issues that are that they would use uh, to be better leaders in the society uh, we have women who need uh, capacity building and mentorship when it comes to women leadership or women in political leadership and we have women who need uh, capacity building in also gender responsive budgeting and it is crucial that we always keep encouraging them and giving them the information that they need uh, so that they're able to uh, uh, not walk the walk but talk the walk uh, when it comes to ensuring that women issues are addressed and when we say women issues are addressed this uh, the e-learning platform is a platform that has has modules such as the gender responsive budgeting which will be able uh, to ensure the women are are capacitated to actually formulate budgets that are gender responsive and are and that have agenda i my name is Ruth Chen, MCA Zambani Ward, elected in Kitui County. And I wish to say that uh, the Women Caucus is really focused and we have a clear agenda on what we want to do for the, for the women and also men in Kitui County. In actual sense, we don't actually uh, concentrate entirely on women. We also put men in the front line because we also know that most of them are suffering silently. So we are addressing the entire uh, population in Kitui County on most of the things that are affecting them and eventually affecting families. And we've had so many challenges to be where we are right now since we joined the assembly. Us as leaders, even in the assembly, but we've been able to talk to our colleagues, the male colleagues. They've been able to understand what really Women Caucus is all about, and we've been able to get their support. We also want to thank our governor because she's now in it. She has tried to balance even her cabinet and giving us more women leaders to handle the serious issues that are happening on the ground. So Women Caucus is uh, doing a lot. We will be moving around the county and addressing issues that are affecting mostly the youth. We are happy that um, most of the things like drugs, rape, now we have clear legislations and we are actually waiting for the policy, the gender policy from the executive, so that now we support it and pass it and uh, it's be, uh, it, it will be implemented. That is the only legislation that can turn around this county and uh, address these issues comprehensively.